Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Mr. Football for TSN, Chris Cuthbert. I like Chris Cuthbert. He said, stunning episode at BC Place yesterday. Stunning. Do you agree with him? Stunning? I, I'm pretty shocked that everybody's calling this a massive upset. Are you really? Why? Why is it such an upset? I know they're the defending champs, the BC Lions that is. Uh, I know that they were playing at home and they got a great home record, but the Stamps had a one less win than this team. They have a huge amount of momentum. They won five straight games. They won a great playoff game the week before. Uh, BC had been playing for nothing for a month and a half. It, it felt like everything was falling in the Stamps' favor. They came out, they gunned right away, got some touchdowns on the board. They did exactly what they, I thought they were going to do. They wow. were, were going to put pressure and be aggressive early, and it worked out. Uh, stunning, no, because, hmm. be, because anything that happens in the past is in the past. And the BC Lions may have won in week five again and beat, beat the crap out of the Stamps then, but that was a long, long time ago. Uh, the Stamps are a much better team now, and they are on fire right now. I think stunning, Ian, is because of how the Stamps play. To me, they look like they're in total control. Even when they make glaring mistakes, they bounce back. It's how the Stamps play, to me, was stunning, and how poorly the BC Lions played. That was remarkable, I thought. Well, and I thought the BC Lions played okay. Did you really? They, there was, they had, every time that this, they made a mistake, the Stamps were all over them, right? Koshi Mwamba pulls off to the one side, leaves Marque McDaniel, and bang, it's a touchdown. Uh, there's another mix-up in the secondary, and uh, Rombie Bryant's clear down the sidelines, and bang, it's a touchdown. It's, but those are, you know, a lot of <laughs> things where they recognized exactly what was going on. Kevin Glenn played out of his mind, obviously. Okay, I want to ask you about that. Yeah, and that's, to me, that's not a stunning thing because he has played really well, and since that game in Hamilton, when he, or against Hamilton, when he had four interceptions, mm -hmm. he's been really good, even though it was in small portions. Okay, so that's my th quick, quick comments about the game. Kevin Glenn, you touched on him already. Yeah. To me, I have to be honest because I thought Drew Tate was the guy the Stamps needed to take them to the Grey Cup. He had the extra uh, skill level that, that I didn't think Kevin Glenn did. So to me, his performance was very, very good. Yes, and he actually had where those, the, the reason they went with Drew Tate was we want a guy who's a little bit more mobile. Well, what did Kevin Glenn do in that game? He, he he eludes two rushers he and goes like in. Drew Tate. Yeah, and he and he tosses a, a little shovel pass to Cornish. Yeah. That was a beauty play because the next play, they're in the end zone with Romby Bryant. Uh, another couple of times he got away from pressure and he and the one time especially gets away from pressure and he fires to Mo Price in the end zone. He showed what they were looking for from Drew Tate is what they got from Kevin Glenn. And Kevin Glenn, to me, maybe that week off, he got a little bit more focus, the mindset. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a whole lot of talk about him up until Thursday of last week, and I think that helped. Now all the pressure is going to be on him in, in Toronto, but he's since 2007, he's looking for the opportunity to go back to the Grey Cup, finish what he didn't get to do then with that broken arm. That was a devastatingly uh, turn of events in his career. Mm -hmm. Had he actually got into the and won that Grey Cup, who knows how his career would have been different, but now he gets a chance to write all that, and he still has some years left. This could be a late season or late career resurgence just like Henry Burris when he was 33 and won the Grey Cup or Dave Dickinson at the same age when when he was winning Grey Cups I think 2006 I, he might have been 33 mm -hmm. my math is Pretty correct close. yeah so this is the time when quarterbacks sort of step up to that next level and Kevin Glenn's doing that <laughs>